Hi, and welcome to a session about navigating the parent portal within Maths Pathway. I'm going to flick over to the portal now for you. Okay, so if you watched my last video, this is the student portal, which we just went through in great depth. You can access the parent portal from this exact page. By clicking on parents and carers in the right hand corner, it's going to take you to the parent portal. Okay, so here's the dashboard. Within the dashboard, there are many different components that you can access whenever you like. To learn more about the program itself, you can click here. And you can click here with many different um, answers to the common questions about the program. So I know many people over the years um, have had many different questions about the model. And here some of the most common ones can be answered for you. Okay, keep scrolling. This is the most important part, I think, of the parent dashboard. By entering your name and email, you will receive an, a personalised email at the end of each test about your student. So when the student has reflected on the test and received their growth score, which is their accuracy and their effort, you will get an email that shows you what how they went, what they didn't master yet, what they did master. This can become a great talking point for you as a family. You know, oh, I see that you had a problem with this module. Where do you think you found it difficult? Or, hey, wow, you've completed this many modules and you've mastered them all. What a great effort. So I think if we're all using a common language and we're able to have a nice, succinct, flow on from school to home, the students will understand that we're all working together. So by entering your details in here, they're not shared with anyone else. It just sits in the back of the program and then you receive that email at the end of each test, at the end of each cycle. Okay, keep scrolling. Okay, you're going to get a little summary of each cycle, kind of what we saw in the student portal as well. So each cycle shows you how they went. And you can view each cycle, which will take you to the student portal. And I'll show you what happens by clicking on view cycle, it takes you straight to the student portal to that particular cycle, which we went through before. So you can see exactly in front of you how many modules were completed, how many were mastered, how many weren't mastered, and the mini lesson or two that your student was involved in. Okay, back to the dashboard for parents and carers. Remember clicking on that little parents and carers in the right hand corner. I'm going to scroll down to where we were up to. Okay, so remember each little cycle summary for you, really clear, shows you exactly what was assigned, exactly what was completed, and the effort, the growth, and the accuracy for each cycle. Okay, this takes it one step further from the section before. This will actually tell you the exact module, when it was completed, what level, so what grade level it's sitting from, the strand and then the substrand. It'll tell you if it was mastered, not yet mastered, and if they're currently doing it, it will say current and it'll be green. So at this present moment, there's no completed modules because we just started the new cycle. So this particular student doesn't have any green ones yet because the cycle is just finished and a new one started. So this student is now going to be completing a new module. And when they finish it, it will sit here as green, completed as current. So you're able to go through that. So from a parent perspective, I can see that this particular student has obviously had a little bit of trouble with this module, adding and subtracting rational numbers, and it's sitting in a year eight level. I can click on that. This is actually going to show me the types of questions that this student has been completing. It will also give you the option of a video that you can watch as a parent. It's the same video that the students have embedded within their activity set, but as a parent, you can also watch this. And you can also download this actual module, the worksheet part of the module. By pressing this little download button, it will download, you can print that out. It, again, can help open conversation. By no means are you expected to teach your child this concept, 
but it does give you that open conversation about things that your student is finding difficult or finding easy, particularly when they're a little bit of a closed book where they're not as open with how things are going. For you to be able to open a conversation with them, I think is really valuable. Okay, so each one of those you can click on and see what they're doing. They are clickable links. All of these are modules that this student has completed and you get it for the whole year. So, so far for this year, that's what this student has completed. Okay. You get the exact same curriculum grid as the student does and you are able to click on each part and area of the curriculum grid as well. So, if you are interested in looking a little bit deeper and a little bit further, then you by all means can click away. So this particular one we saw was all blue. There's nothing mastered in there yet, but you can see what's coming up in that. Scroll a little bit further and you can actually give your own feedback to Maths Pathway about the learning model. The thing about Maths Pathway as a company and as a group of educators they want the program to be the best it can be to not only help fulfill student needs but teacher needs and parent needs. So they really are open to feedback and they do really take it seriously. So if you ever do have the feedback, by all means shoot it through to them because that's how they adapt and create the program. They create it from feedback from teachers, they create it from feedback from students and they most definitely take into consideration feedback from parents. They want it to work. They want it to be a program that supports the mass development in all students. So please, whenever you feel, you can uh, pop that feedback in and it goes straight to Pathways. It doesn't come to school and we won't know you've sent it, but definitely they take it on board when, when they're developing new areas of the program or going back and even fixing things in the program. I know when we've given feedback as teachers about particular modules that we haven't liked or haven't felt have hit the mark, they've gone back and adapted those to, to suit. So definitely they take the feedback seriously. So as a parent, you have access to all of this the same as we would as a teacher. And it is really, really powerful. So I really do encourage you to have a little look and click around and have a look exactly how your child is going. And remember, by popping your details on this particular part gives you access to an email at the end of each cycle test, which I think is so crucial in keeping open the communication between you and your student. If you have had any questions at all about what to access in the Parent and Carer portal on this dashboard, please do not hesitate to ask your child's teacher or again, you can email me at klewis at bdc.nsw.edu.au and I will gladly help you through any problems you are having. I hope you enjoyed this session and I hope that what we've given you is now a toolkit that you can go to when you feel like you need it or when you want to have a look at how your student is progressing. Thanks for watching.